morning and welcome to day three of our adventure. We are heading to Oconee National Forest this morning. and Cookies or breakfast? We got cookies for breakfast, so that happened. <laughs> See you later. Check out this bridge. <clears throat> can't make it through this. Can't go through the bridge. I see some rub marks. Oh, that's really cool. How that would work. Sticking your hand in an ant nest? Well, we talked about the bullet ant in my class. Just the uh, it's not nearly as bad as that, but entertaining nonetheless. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. <laughs> oh, there's ants. See them? Look. Wow. Yeah. You see those? All right. You ready? So this is the nemesis Stephen has chosen. You ready? Yup. Oh yeah, they're biting. Owie. How does that feel? Look at those. Holy crap. It's stinging. I still have some biting me. Oh yeah. I think I got most of them now. Woo! Yeah, a little bit of pain. <laughs> Not bad though. Could have been a lot worse. It'll probably, it'll probably get worse. So where's your pain index between one to ten? Oh, it's low. It's low, but it could be significant if I left my hand in there very long. <laughs> I mean, I definitely feel it. It's like a, a few dozen little bee stings. Oh, I still have some riders. Oh, no wonder I still have pain. <laughs> it'll go away. I'm sure of it. Now it's really starting to hurt. <laughs> that should really show some evidence now. Let me see your face. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna get all sorts of angry and red now. Asian lady beetles don't only overwinter in people's homes, they also overwinter in dead and dying trees. So this is about after five minutes, his hand is starting to redden and you can see the hives breaking out. The hot light at Krispy Kreme. The thing that you stall the road trip for, it's the hot light at Krispy Kreme. Woohoo! Welcome to Helen, Georgia. Hey, 
Steven, what are you doing? I'm reducing the burn from earlier. You know, from the ants. This feels remarkable. <laughs> I can no longer feel my hand, all is well. National Forest. We're going to see if we can find some bugs. This log's looking pretty rotten. I wonder if there's any bugs in here. some termites. A lot of people think that termites are really closely related to ants, but actually, genetically, termites are closer related to cockroaches. You know you're on the right track when you start finding feces. Poop! Ha! <laughs> Found some spiders for my spider class. And a beetle larvae and a small beetle, a small scarab, oh. and some mosquitoes, apparently. <laughs> so, it wasn't a whole lot here. We're going to move on to another place and see if we can find a place that is a little more productive. So right here at the base of the tree, I just found this. This is a wood boring caterpillar. I also found a rose plant with my butt. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> this is the wood boring caterpillar that I found. Unlike most caterpillars, this caterpillar does not eat vegetation. It actually feeds on decaying wood. I've never seen these before. So if anyone else knows what they are, you totally should let me know. And at the base of them, there was this yellow fungus. So this is the base of them. Here's another chamber that I just broke into and you can more easily see this yellow fungus that's always near these chambers. That is a whole lot of carpenter ants. Well, we tried. This is an adult beetle's elytra, probably a best beetle. No head. Ichabod. Go. Who's a happy man? Who is? This guy. <laughs> what uh, is that? It's a best beetle. I'm gonna give him a little kiss. Hey, nice little best beetle. Oh, it's so so precious. It's so sweet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep digging, I guess. I just almost gave up on this log. Maybe I'll just take the whole log home. Kind of excited now. That way he can't get away. Check out this chamber. This is in the log that we've been finding the best beetles in. <clears throat> Check out what Stephen has found now. These are cerambicid larvae, or longhorn beetles. Do you remember those longhorn beetles that we saw yesterday? Yeah, pretty cool. Let's see how big they are. 
They're pretty large. Look at that bounty. Five of them in there. Collecting by headlight. And there she comes. It's backing up. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's done. Beautiful. I'm thrilled. That's awesome. First time I've ever collected them out of a log. And this is Steven in his natural habitat. <laughs> you want to give you want to give people an estimate on their length, size? Oh, about an inch and a half. What's better than Mexican after a long day of collecting? Nothing better than Mexican. Well, it's been quite a day. There were some challenging times, crazy driving, not because the driving was crazy, but rather the roads, the road was insane. But look at this. Don't even. <laughs> All right, only because she told me not to. So this is super exciting. It's the biggest one I've ever collected. We did collect two of them. The other one is trying to bite me. It's not quite as big. It doesn't like to be messed with. It's just not being cooperative. It's not feeling photogenic. Alright. <laughs> I win. See? It's about half the size of the other one. Still really impressive. Okay. So, that was our Serampissa Barbie. And then, and then there's that. Oh, it's squeaking. How cute is that? We caught best beetles. Whoa. We caught best beetles today. Dug them out of logs. It's the first time I've ever collected any straight out of a log rather than at a light. And. Collected about, I don't even know. I was too busy collecting to count, but it was a lot of work, and hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get some going back home. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a looks like I got about eight of them. Get these guys to uh, lay some eggs and reproduce. So, it was a long our day. Show them um, off to the kids. But worth it. Yeah, we've got them in Michigan too, but they're significantly more difficult to find in Michigan. Well, they weren't easy to find here. That's true. We just haven't found them in Michigan yet. Is that what you're, so is you're showing until then? I'm done. <laughs> Awesome. And so other than that, I think, you know, we had a pretty productive day, right? Yeah, we have our safety heads on and uh, had a headlight on. It's important yeah, to be safe. We were out there uh, quite a bit after the sun went down. So that's when the excitement really got uh, started. <laughs> so now we're going to try and actually get some sleep uh, before we go and hit it hard tomorrow on our way home. Yep, driving as far north as we can get tomorrow and hitting up some national forests, hopefully. It's kind of the goal. So, hope to see you guys best tomorrow and maybe we'll collect something even more exciting. I doubt that. Yeah, I doubt it too. Awesome. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. <laughs>
Um, but I'm sure we'll have more adventures for you tomorrow. So, bye. So to collect these, we went way down yonder in the Chattahoochee. <laughs>